folks and share their gifts. Share their gifts. But it's a special service tonight, folks, because we are celebrating Women's History Month, which is a time honor tradition that has upheld the fundamental American principle of valuing and respecting women since way back in 1994. And when I started thinking about what women's history means for us as spiritual people, I turned to my Bible. And when I started reading it, I wondered, well, in how many Bible stories do we pass the Bechtel test? Does everybody know what the Bechtel test is? Okay, for those of you, for those of you that don't, I'm just gonna fill you in. The Bechtel test is a little test for a piece of, you know, literature, or maybe a TV show or a movie or a book. All right, and that test is simple, okay? The story only has to contain two female characters that have names, that talk to each other once about something other than a man. Easy A, right? Easy A. <laughs> well, not so much for the Bible. <laughs> if you took out all the parts that didn't pass the Bechdel test, the entire Bible would be shorter than a tweet. <laughs> it's true. But that's okay, folks, because times have changed since the Lord wrote the Bible. I mean, back then, women didn't have any rights. Plus, I think he was still kind of pissed off about that whole Eve and the apple thing. So I think that's why he did it. And um, I'm, I'm not here to complain. I don't want to come across bitchy or anything like that. So I'm just going to sit here and silently hope that the next Bible stars a bunch of ladies, even if he makes all the white ones scientists and the only black one a subway worker. Because progress is progress. We'll take what we can get at this point. We will. But I'm not here to Bible bash. We're celebrating women. Can all the ladies out there give me a whoop whoop? <laughs> Oh, we have fun here at church night. We have fun because we are a community that comes together at the same time while he watches. Amen. And that community starts each and every church night all over again with something we do every time called the Blessings and Light high fives and we're going to do that now so i'm going to ask that you stand if you're able and give your neighbors around you a high five and tell them blessings and light blessings and light blessings and light Okay, folks, that's it. You don't want to overbless. You don't want to overbless, okay? It's Friday night. So I'm just curious is it anyone out there's first church night? Well, amen to that. Welcome to the service. We are so happy to have you here. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Kathy Piata. I'm the youth minister here at Church Night, and I used to be a street walking hooker, but now, now I help run this church, and I make sure that your kids don't fuck it up for the rest of us. That's right. Later on, you're going to be seeing a lot of our altered boy, Randy St. Louis yes. Jr. You're going to be hearing the word of the Lord from the Reverend Dr. Stephen or Maybelline Bidet Esquire. And we'll be hearing a lot more music from the beautiful Mrs. Beulah Riley. She's beautiful. Now, I just have a few announcements before we get this service underway. Have any of you out there heard of our little web series, Church Night TV? Oh, that's music to my ears. No, we got to let you know we just found out that Church Night TV was actually nominated for five awards at the LA Web Fest. Yeah. 
Is that the shit? So we just want to thank anyone out there that helped us make that. Thank you for watching it, supporting it. We especially want to thank our video intern, Jeff Anus McGillicuddy, who pretty much did all the work. We're gonna be going out there to the Warner Brothers Studios on April 24th to collect all the awards they're definitely gonna give us. And earlier that day, we'll be doing a service at the Nerdist Showroom at Meltdown Comics. Yes, we are. And so I just, I mean, who the fuck knows? You might be in LA on April 24th. If you are, we hope you'll join us at that service. And if you have friends out there, please help us spread the word. We don't go out to the left coast very much, so if you know anybody, please tell them about our service on April 24th. It'll be on our website, on our Facebook, all that shit. Oh, oh, I just got a message on my iPad here saying that our prayers have been answered. Because there is a Bible out there for ladies. I'm just going <laughs> to click this link and see what it says. All right. Ooh. All right. This is interesting. It says, introducing the Bible for her. The new holy book was designed especially for women. Featuring a cover appealing to the female eye that comes in your choice of princess pink or pop star purple. This Bible is light enough for a delicate physique weighing in at only 2.1 ounces. There are no heavy or dangerous paper pages that can be difficult to turn or damage soft hands with paper cuts. Instead, the Bible is made of 100% silk and the pages double as lingerie sure to please any husband. Instead of complicated traditional Bible stories, Bible for Her features easy to understand chapters on subjects appealing to women such as recipe ideas, fashion spreads, and weight loss tips. Get your copy by contacting the Ministry of Evangelical Night Services today and receive a free Bible for her bra and penny set. <laughs> well, that's interesting. The Ministry of Evangelical uh, Night Services is, is selling this. That, that's actually an organization that evaluated our church last month. For those of you that don't know, Ministry of Evangelical Night Service is abbreviated as MANS, all right? And they're an organization that governs all church services that take place at night. And as such, we are subject to periodical review by man's because we, in fact, are a church service that takes place at night. And in fact, we got our evaluation in via email earlier today, and we thought it would be fun to read the results to you folks out loud tonight for the first time. Do you want to hear what they had to say about our last service? Yeah. All right. Just going to open up this email here. Okay. And I thank you for letting us come. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is overall okay. Okay. But Mans advises the following Change nothing about altered boy Randy St. Oates Jr. or Reverend Bidet. They are great spiritual leaders, and Mans is happy to have them as part of our organization. Amen. Congratulations to those two. Your, it says, uh, your youth minister, that's me, Kathy Piata, on the other hand, needs some work. For as it is written in Kings chapter 7, verse 3, women unto the Lord must be at least a 7 or an 8. <laughs> Under this commandment, Kathy is failing mi miserably. Man's requires Kathy get hotter or else we will be forced to terminate her and hire an 18 to 25 year old. In order to aid church night in this endeavor, Mans will send a representative to help Kathy shape up during your service on March 11th. That's tonight. Your representative will be Mel Gizay. Oh my God, Mel Gizay from reality TV's Tanged Out? That's my favorite show where they turn plain pussies into culture cunts. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the Great British Bacon Show, but for vaginas. I can't believe he could be here at any moment. Whoa. And 
I need a fan to get that fish smell out of my face. Oh. It's okay, that's how he starts every episode of Tang Do. He's talking about my puss. <laughs> I wish I was, but I am talking about this whole damn thing. This whole thing is stanky. Well, what do you mean, Mill? Kathy, you poor feeble thing. I'm here to turn you into a proper youth minister. Men's has dictated that a female youth minister needs to be at least a seven. You're a drunk too at best. <laughs> I took a drunk too before the service tonight. <laughs> That's disgusting. And exactly what Men's is talking about. Church night is going to fail unless you shape up. Nobody wants to send their kids to a youth minister they don't want to fuck. <laughs> Tell that to Timmy Simpson's dad, honey. <laughs> don't worry, Blumpkin. We're gonna unfuck your shit. Tonight, I'm going to give you a makeover. First things first, you're no longer known as Kathy Piata. Too ethnic. From now on, we're going to call you K-Pi. So fuckable. <laughs> this sounds so fun. Next, I need to see what you've got. Well, okay. I've got a couple of dime bags, two quaaludes, and a box of special K. That's not what I mean. Just give me a twirl. Oh, I'm all out of twirls, honey. It's been a dry week. Okay, bye. Forget about it. Randy, clipboard. Quill? <laughs> Posture. <coughs> Halitosis. <laughs> Muffin top. Oh, bitch. Muffin bottom. <laughs> sausage fingers. Hey, Mel, my fingers do not look like sausages. No, they smell like sausages. <laughs> Kathy, let's take that clip out of your hair so we can see what it looks like down. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> My God. <laughs> we might need to do plan B. Oh, I know plan B. I've done that one. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I mean, do you have any skills? What are you good at? Well, missionary is definitely my best. <laughs> That's not going to work for this. I mean, do you have any talents? Well, I, I went to an Ivy League school, so I'm very highly educated. I, I have words. I, I, I have the best words. We're not trying to get you elected president, k -Pi. We're trying to put asses in pews. <laughs> I mean, do you have any feminine skills? Cooking, cleaning, filing papers, getting coffee for men, being interrupted, well, I yoga do. instruction, <laughs> water buffaloing, dancing. Hey, hey, singing. I'm real good at singing. Okay, Pi, shut your mouth. I just had the best idea. Singing. <laughs> I, I literally just said that. That was my idea. What did I say about your mouth, Kay Pi? Sh shut it. Oh my god, I love you so much. <laughs> Are you ready for your makeover? Definitely. Oh, after my post announcements, Hot Pocket. We can save the Hot Pocket for after the makeover. Okay, Butterball? Do you promise? I mean, it's a long time for Mama to go without her Hot Pocket. <laughs> People, in less than one hour, you will see the steaming hot sack of garbage transformed into a hot sack of garbage that you'd like to fuck. <laughs> okay, bye. Meet me backstage in five. I'll bow your heads in prayer with me right now. Dear unnamed governor of the universe, please give me the strength to cast out my self-worth for the betterment of this church. <laughs> to understand that sometimes we are called on to sacrifice our self-respect 
for the enjoyment of others. And to remember that you, Lord, put women on this planet to serve. With your help, oh God, I seek to be a leader, but not too bossy. I, I seek to speak with conviction, but without vocal fry. And I pray that Mel Gizeh will help me earn the approval from men that I did not know I wanted, but found out that I needed tonight. It's because I'm going to lose my job if I don't. <laughs> and to the Republic for which it stands, in his name we say, Peace out. Praise the Lord. Folks, are you ready for an incredible service? <laughs>